this is Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta, uh, with another video, this time in the shack, not a, a portable video or some other type of QRP or antenna um, video. This is about a piece of software that works on a Raspberry Pi uh, that I love uh, called Ham Clock. And uh, the Ham Clock is uh, really more than just a Ham Clock. Of course, it is a uh, very sophisticated uh, propagation uh, software that really assists uh, us as hams to uh, know what's happening out there and to get a lot of really solid information in one uh, source. Uh, one of the issues I've always had with uh, the ham clock was how to get the uh, uh, the software's display to go really full screen on my monitor. Uh, my HDMI monitor so I could see that thing really nice and big. I couldn't figure it out. It took me hours and hours and hours, but I'm going to be able to show that to you now, and you'll be able to do it in just a few minutes, which is really awesome. Uh, so no other video I like there out there, out there right now about this. So um, stand by, and I'll show you how I did it. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta back here. We're looking at the desktop of my Raspberry Pi 4. And, uh, of course, you can do this on a Raspberry Pi Zero or a 3B or a 4 or even the new 5. Uh, the ham clock uh, software is available on any one of them. But the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go over to your uh, Raspberry Pi configuration under Preferences. Okay, and once you get there, you'll open up Raspberry Pi Configurations. And you're going to go to interfaces and you're going to make sure that that SSH is on. It's not normally on when you just, uh, you know, have a fresh uh, version of uh, the Raspberry Pi software, Debian or whatever you're running. So you've got to turn that on. I also have VNC on because I like the VNC into this uh, for my cell phone uh, when I'm out of town or something. But I would just put both of those on. You just hit OK. And after you hit OK, you'll come over to the Internet uh, web browser, open that up. Uh, once the web browser opens up for you, i got some pretty slow Internet here on this because this is not on my uh, uh, router. Uh, but uh, we'll go to Ham Clock, uh, which is uh, this website here. And I'll put this in the bottom comments. ClearSkyInstitute.com slash ham slash Cam clock slash, and you'll just scroll down a little bit. You'll see picture there. You'll just scroll down here. Go to download, and then you'll just download as a zip file. Right? It's uh, being downloaded right now. It's only two megs, and then you'll close out your uh, your browsers, and you can find your download right into downloads right and you can just unzip that and it's going to put it on your desktop just like i have it on my desktop here and so once you double click that it'll ask you to execute it you're not going to execute it in the terminal you're just going to execute it and it's going to start to open up it's going to ask you to set it up on the first time so click anywhere to enter setup i just did that you'll put your uh, call sign in there you'll put your uh, grid in there. I guess I don't have my grid in here, huh? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little tabbing here, get over there, and uh, put my grid in there. As uh, FN zero zero BK. Okay. Uh, I don't do anything else here on this screen. And I go to the next screen. Cluster, not for now. I'm not going to put the cluster on there. Uh, rig control, no, I'm not going to use that. Uh, map center, GPIO, not for this purpose. But do I want the full screen on? I sure do. I want it full screen. Uh, so I'm going to hit done. And it's going to start loading up, looking for the best time to... Uh, cue this up. I can hit skip, but it's got to find time first before it uh, will actually let you get there. So here is now my uh, version of Ham Clock booting up right now. And as you can see, I want to show you something here. You can't really, I'm not going to black it out, but later on we're going to look for our IP address. 
and your IP address is going to line up right where I'm putting this mouse. Of course, I've uh, blacked out mine, but it, you can look up your IP address in all sort of different ways. But guess what? Ham clock allows you to see your your IP address. Now, look at what's happening here. This is full screen, but all of this black area here is not full. So it's not full screen yet, right? And so we're going to go to another screen on another computer. We're going to SSH into this Raspberry Pi from another computer. Uh, and um, I'll show you how we get this thing to be uh, fully full screen. Okay, so stand by and be right back. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta back here. As you can see, this is my three screen setup. The uh, ham clock is on uh, the left side of my, uh, what I'm looking at, and it's not full screen. It's just, that's the Pi running into that monitor, and I have two monitors running into my desktop, which runs all my software for my computer, uh, for my radios. So I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger here so you can see it. And I'm going to go over to the tab. I've got a new tab here. And then I'm going to go over to a website called putty.org. Putty.org. And Putty is an SSH and tel Telnet client developed originally by T Simon Tatham. Okay, so for the Windows platform, you'll download Putty just like that. Nice and simple. Uh, you'll pick which one you want to use it on. Uh, just go ahead. I use a 64-bit times 86 right and it's going to tell you where you want to put it i'll put it in my downloads you can put it wherever you want on your desktop uh, once it's finished downloading uh, it is a very uh, simple there it is only three and a half megabytes so let's close this screen out here like that and then um, i'm going to move my putty over here and so let's open that up open up putty and putty is going to pop up on another screen and I wish I could make it bigger but I will just zoom in on it here we go right and we see the putty now what is it asking for it is asking for the IP address so I'm gonna look on my Raspberry Pi as it's blinking back and forth uh, and I see it it's I'm not gonna say it out loud And it's going to come back on again. So there, I've got my uh, uh, IP address in there. I want it to be on SSH, right? And I want it to uh, get right in there, right? So all I have, that's all I have to do here. And I'm going to hit open. And it's going to open up a session. I'm going to zoom out here a bit. Pull that guy down. And I've got to remember what my login was, uh, if you haven't changed your login or anything like that. So just give me a second here. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta back here again. I'm uh, back on the Raspberry Pi here. I've gotten into the system by putting my uh, the name of the Raspberry Pi and my uh, password in. And I'm uh, now controlling it from the desktop of my Windows computer. Uh, I am going to show you one line of code that needs to be slightly adapted, uh, and that is going to also be down down in the comment sections for you to see. And I'm not even going to tell you what it says. It's got a whole bunch of different characters in it. But right now, the display size says 1920 by 8, 1080. And we can see that as we zoom out, that's not where we're at, right? So I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to change these numbers to 800 by 480. Okay, 800, lowercase x, 480. All the spaces have to be the same. I'm going to go back down to the little uh, O back here, and I'm going to hit Enter. And, whoa, what just happened there? It just made my screen go to like next to nothing. I don't know. Maybe I need to do that and put some new numbers back in. Let's try that again. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to go back and change those numbers again to uh, 800 times 480. I think I put 800 times 4, 8,000. That's wrong. Let's try that again here. 800 
lowercase x and 480 delete delete now we'll see what happens to our screen and I'll enter it and look at that doesn't it look great nice and full screen right there like that and there you go that's as simple as it is uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video of course we all make mistakes and uh, it's good to see that people make mistakes like that so uh, enjoy your big huge uh, uh, screens and this is kilo two papa mike delta uh leave me any comments or questions in your in the comment section below and we'll see you down the log seven three everyone